Yo, what's going on guys? I got a couple comments on my action skill video. The video where I talked about how you can always have your action skill back as quick as possible. On the build I was using in that video, people saw that the phase Zerker was just insta-killing enemies and also ties to bind alone was killing a ton of ads in the game. And so in this video, I kind of want to just quickly go over what I was using or I guess so to speak the like anointments and stuff I was using in this video I changed it up a little bit and actually crafted the build together so hopefully you can understand it a little bit more and all the stuff that's happening I guess behind the scenes to make that viable so you can take this as kind of a like informative slash build style video however you want to do it and I hope this video can help you out if you want to also run a build like that so as you see on the character right here I have very minimal gear that's what I was trying to go for I guess with this build quote unquote you only ever have to swap out three old guy shields and that is because you have three action skill elements and you can swap out to whatever damage you're doing but the main thing to make your action skill do a lot of damage depending on if you use a ties to bind phase slam or phase zerker it's anything is this gain 300 percent increased weapon damage against enemies above 90 percent health this anoint right here is what lets you do an insane amount of damage if you don't know this anoint actually buffs your action skill damage so when you see things like a huge damage number popping up it's because of that anoint and another thing on amara is that revelation right here actually also gets buffed with that so you do an insane amount of damage with revelation and revelation plus ties right here is what is allowing you to one shot all the ads you're basically you face grasp the enemy it's linking together then the revelation goes off does like six so million damage depending on obviously what axe skill element you're using on the health bar and then the Taz is getting amplified by things like do harm and everything and that's how you just one shot everything with one phase grasp so to further increase that damage i'm also running things like a phase zerker right here so you get max rush stacks which is return giving you max do harm stacks to give your axe skill even more damage this is also giving you axe skill damage and splash damage if you don't know revelation does splash damage so that's more damage revelation and it is absolutely destroying and as i said earlier the old gods that i have right here as well you can swap these out to whatever axe skill element you're using if you're going against an incendiary target you can put soul fire on so whatever axe skill you're using is doing incendiary damage and you can swap it out to get 20 percent more incendiary damage so from the damage aspect alone you're getting damage from the shield you're getting axe skill damage from the phase zerker and the legendary effect of the phase zerker is also giving you axe skill damage because you're getting max rust axe which do harm is giving you an insane amount of axe skill damage because with the phase zerker you can easily get your do harm stacks up like insanely easy like it's kind of crazy the, how easy it is to get them Lay bear is also giving you bonus damage and then awakening is buffing basically everything i just said and you're getting just even more and then obviously to help benefit avatar helps out so you can pop your axle twice for cooldown so you can kill enemies like crazy and honestly that is about it other than just other benefits like tempest giving you more elemental damage arms will give you more splash damage just anything like that then you also have like survivability skills in this build but that alone is all you have to do so i guess a tldr of this for amar at least is to just get a weapon with the 300 percent weapon damage anoint if you can get a phase zerker with the hack skill damage anoint but if you can't just get a phase zerker alone easily fake grasp to get your do harm stacks up make sure you have five points to do harm and three points in awakening and then put revelation on and boom you're gonna kill all the targets it's kind of ridiculous and it is super super fun now, if you're actually curious about the build that I kind of put together, I'm going to go over that really quickly if you would like to just try this out. Now, I will put my safe on my Discord channel like I do with my other builds. I know this isn't a official build video like I do, but simply, I'm running a Berserker White Elephant right here. So, this is going to let you get more fire rate and sprint speed when you melee an enemy, and the White Elephant is going to let you apply sticky bombs whenever you man an enemy this is giving you more melee damage max cooldown rate and more area effect damage the reason i'm running this is for the face puncher obviously this is going to give you a lot more fire rate whenever you shoot an enemy and you can easily apply sticky bombs to destroy bosses this is your boss killing kind of weapon and it's also slightly going to be your weapon to kill uh, your buddy system robots i run buddy system so that is why i'm, I'm also going to use to kill the buddy systems but for ad clear i'm only going to be running ties divine with revelation 
and that's it. I'm only going to be doing that to kill everything. That's all you really have to do. If you ever get down to a single target where you need to shoot them, obviously I'll use the face puncher. And like I said, I'll use the face puncher to kill the buddy systems. But the face puncher is really just for your bossing needs. With this anoint and the white elephant and obviously the fire rate easily letting you apply the white elephant super quick, you get an insane amount of damage. The boss is just going to melt. Now, as you see, this does have area effect damage and I will mention really quick that also is going to help out with revelation because area of effect damage is essentially just splash damage. So that's also helping out with that. But back to the ball scene, literally just use this, shoot the crit. You have three shots. You're going to apply a ton of sticky bombs and those three shots kill an enemy. Now, as you see, I am running a unforgiven right here and that is simply for crit swapping and i know some people are against crit swapping and either way if you are or aren't you don't even have to use this thing as you see in some of the clips the face puncher alone you don't have to you don't have to have it if you're okay with crit swapping basically the unforgiven is just gonna let you shoot the face puncher once swap to this and it insta dies but if you don't want to use that you can get rid of it and then you can just shoot all three shots and then it's gonna insta die like whichever way you prefer to do it obviously the unforgiven is giving you a little bit more of a benefit with the extra damage but like i said you don't have to have it the face puncher is already just insane as it is especially with the white elephant and being able to apply the sticky bombs really quick to, with the berserker is insanely fun but that is pretty much it i've went over the main skills for this build Everything else is just kind of like a nice compliment. You have like Remnant to have the Overkill Orb, more fire rate with from Rest. Ascendant is actually really good because you're getting more Revelation damage. It's 25% more. So I would definitely take this to get even more damage than what I've already said. Also, like Steady Hands, this is just for, you know, handling accuracy. It's just nice to have. Dread is going to reload your face punch if you ever need to. Infusion is really good for your ball scene because you can swap out from incinerate cross from a shock if you're going against reward obviously swap to incinerate so your face punch can do incinerate damage and you can kill the bosses faster and find your center is also going to be melee damage so yeah as you see a lot of it is just damage bonuses for whatever you want like bossing or like i said mobbing but that's just the general build that is how this is played and if you're running about the it's piss it has a grenade throw annoying so you can get even more axle damage weapon damage and yeah, that's pretty much it so that that is everything i hope this really helps some of you guys out i like i said this build is insanely fun and it's also like super simple to use you don't have to have these weapons you can honestly just have a level one weapon with this anoint and it'll work because you're not using your weapon to do damage obviously for ball scene you'll have to figure something out but and that is why i have these two weapons right here for the boss and capabilities of the build so yeah again just a general rundown 300% anoint, revelation, do harm, phase zerker, ties that bind, and just any general damage bonuses you can get from skills or your shield or even the grenade anoint, and even stats like air effect damage, splash damage, or axial damage. That's pretty much it. You don't even need all the extra stuff I just said, but if you have it, it's even better. But that's going to be all for this video. I just want to say really quick, thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel. We are currently at 2,000. 825 subs on the channel we are on the road to 3000 so it would really mean a lot if you guys will subscribe to help me reach that milestone it's free and it really goes a long way and it's what allows me to keep making videos like these for you guys but that's going to be the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace Two face killer, go gorilla for the bag. Uh, that boy be a pussy, kill the vibe, he a drag. Uh, autobiography gon' look like a brag. Huh? Let's get to